just an example. <laughs> that the Mr. Yoda is asking you, it's, it's, a, it's a prop, and she has to tell why human beings, for what use they have this bracelet. That's a prop. I want to have a, a man with a tie, but unfortunately, I don't know. How much he needs a tie? Mr. Yoda is asking, please tell me. Uh, I don't know uh, about human beings, but tell me, for what is this? Can you explain the purpose of this? Cool. There's a good chance for him to speak about the prop. In this case, his time. These are the three ways to approach the table topics. Questions and area blocks. And you've noticed, I have a frame, I have a general topic. In this case, science fiction, Star Wars, and what the topic of this uh, is. It's very important to frame the scenario to connect everything. It can be everything, maybe a bottle, maybe a carnival meeting or a Christmas meeting. <coughs> connected. For example, everything is connected with different quotations. Or you can use it to the day of today. What happened on the 23rd of January 2005? 20 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. You have a good frame to speak about this day and connect it with a frame. A frame is an area of setting is all as a nice thing and it makes a good thing. The types of the table topics, the main topic is the frame. Now it's about to find your tasks. Normally you have four tasks, but if you tell you later, um, you will need more. You will see it's necessary to have more than just four tasks. It's about finding your questions or your scenarios and something. And of course you have to connect it with the introduction and setting. In this case, uh, to, 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 to Star Wars is obvious today, but you have to put the people in there. And what's very important is this. It's a word. What you are saying. Each word counts. But if you're acting, you know, each word from the stage, it counts. Not some blah blah in front of yourself. Because if a tabletop reader starts, you are grabbing for information. I give you a bad example about a question. <coughs> Imagine Mrs. Merkel is um, meeting Putin. What would you say if you would be in the position of Mrs. Merkel? Maybe you speak about general things, about politics, or what about maybe you're giving a telephone call to Mr. Putin. Or, ah, you are at the conference, it comes just in your mind. What would happen to the speaker is, what? Be precise, but each information is about reductions. It's not necessarily skip it. Skip it. And even with an introduction, it could be horrible and uh, totally um, disorientated people because actually, I give you also a bad example. How to do this was on my table topic session. This morning I was in the newspaper and there were so much topics inside it. Politics, there was news, there was culture, and I was like, which I found something, I found something about culture. But please, I didn't take this. By the way, I was speaking about traveling. Traveling is a one that oh, just comes to my idea. Sports traveling. What do you think about hiking and walking and swimming and canoeing? Please, what do you think? Uh, and what's the reaction of the candidate? Because it's, it's too confusing, too much information. Because it's necessary. We are all tabletopic participants. We know the pressure and it must be reduced. Thing because each of us knows standing at the table topic position is maximum 80% of our brain power, the rest is your case. So I'll give you an example of all this, which is this, this, this rules of today session. I would say like this. But they have the newspaper, but there I found my topics. Page three, sports. There was a report about the trainer of the national team of the winter sports of the Polish team. Fortunately, among us is the coach of the Polish winter sports team, and he or she will tell us how well prepared are the Polish athletes. Please, on stage. Clear thing? Information, it's about the news of the day. Focus, the focus at the sports. I do the setting. Coach of the national team trainers, come on stage. It's clear what you have to do. You have to perform as coach and speak about this. The speakers of the, the Polish uh, assets. At 
a clear definition and not confused that it must be clear. Because, because one principle in table topic is brief, short, precise. Brief, short, precise, and nothing else. Nothing else. No blah blah, blah blah, and you do another thing. You have to be very clear. And if you have a clear contract to get clear results, even the business, if you say to your, your, your company, we must become better. Well, clear goal, precise goal. <coughs> have a clear contract, we want to raise the income 20%, sets a goal you can achieve to, to become better. Well, about that. Short, brief, precise. I give you an example of how I am doing it. For example, I have a general topic about colors. <coughs> I said, okay, my topic of this colors, a little sheet of paper. It's this size, very small. I write down my different questions. For example, favorite is question very simple. What's your favorite color? Very clear, very easy. It's a good question for a beginner or someone who is an introvert or shop. Next question, dress. I speak about introduction will be like this. Color has big influence on our emotions and we choose our clothes to express our emotions. Please tell me why we choose this morning, this red shawl. It's a good thing. Just he's, he's doing like this is using props. It's a good thing. So I noted it with the word dress, black and white. It's a very sophisticated question for very experienced students. Colors are very often connected in special moods. We in Germany connect funerals with black. In other countries in Asia, it's white. We you say three, four thoughts. What do you say? Why the Europeans choose this black as simple for the morning? Why the people in China choose the white? That's heavy, but experience the master can do it. It's a heavy question. Very challenging. The next emotion. What's your, your most emotional color? Simple, speak about orange, blue, or something else. Next combination is a question. You can combine colors. What's your favorite combination in colors? Gold, red, and something. Even for women, it's always a speak for hours. That's a good topic. And the last one, for example, even a simple one. Which color do you like most? For my point of view, is a special colors we use in the branding of Toastmasters with dark colors. It's wow, horrible. Okay. So you, you write on a little sheet of paper, just to, as a, to, to refresh your memory, favorite, present, <coughs> black and white emotion, combination, and hate. It's just enough for, 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 to memorize it. The next thing is now it comes. You go to the meeting. This is all but also homework. You can do it at home, you can do it while traveling with a tram to the Toastmaster meeting. It's not important to do it as, uh, really precisely. Sometimes you need some research if you speak about what happened 20 years ago. It's very easy. And just sitting in the tram, uh, heading for the Toastmasters meeting, you can have an idea of speaking about the people, how they dress, the look out, oh, the weather has been an autumn, winter. You can speak on buildings, you can speak on female behavior, man's behavior, you can speak about lots of different cultural differences, Portugal, Finland, Poland. A huge just sitting in the tram, look around, and you find <coughs> topics. That I found by the third, search, is a short, perfect question for her. I think it's perfect to this length of the t-shirt. It's short, it's a perfect on <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of topics all around. Just pick them up from a into a proper situation, a uh, proper, um, proper way, and present yourself and to deliver it to the next people succeed, your team members, your candidates on stage. Now it comes to the meeting. You are entering the room with just this paper. We have six or seven questions. We have six. Why six? 
It could happen that the toast was an evening come to you. I'm sorry, we had three speakers, but two didn't show up. What I can do? We have to offer, okay, I can have six. That's the first reason. The next reason is you have to choose the right persons. And the, the, how many? The first question. The next one, candidates. Some toastmasters toast must have now has a policy to ask the volunteers to come. It's nice, but question is it's good. Because if you ask for volunteers, you give up control. It's like driving a car the other one, of course you can drive like this, but you have less lever than bicycle, it works, but you have less control. And if you are a conductor of orchestra, you don't say, who wants to play? <laughs> okay. Keeps the control. Keeps the command because one of the job of the tools not of the regulatory moderator is to be responsible for each one of the club as an opportunity to speak. For example, so I'm sitting in the audience, I just do a speak presenter. I was asked, Do you want to volunteer? Of course, I say yes, but I said, Oh, come on, I'm unpolite, I have a big uh, role, I do nothing. What happens with the extrovert people? I will, I will. What will, will happen with the introvert people? What are we going to happen with the guests? So the light first time the crew. So you have people are coming and you cannot connect the questions, the easy questions, the beginners, the difficult to the more experienced. You give up control and the only advantage is it's voluntary. But hey, you're too small. Each of us is voluntary. Because the sign of enforcement, you know, we learn here. We are heading to go here. I don't have to. And I have a rule like this. Guests have the right of opportunity to say, it's not my day, but for members, come on. Get in the school and the teacher comes. We want to do it. So, from my point of view, volunteering is, sounds nice, but it's not good. <coughs> so, how do you find your candidates? Some clubs have a policy, <coughs> only club members, club members shall be on stage. It's a good policy. On the other hand, to, to miss the chance to hook the people. Because each of us knows the guest is asked for action. And you really experience, oh, I did it, very often they the application. Because on stage you smell the taste of the smell. Sitting is nice, but here you, you feel this tension. So it's a good thing to get the new members to ask, to ask guests and members. And even with a good and even with members, sometimes members don't show up for three months. And the first time they're coming, I want to wait and say, come on. This person will go on stage. Because maybe he knows peers. We can revitalize this. Oh, it's worse to come. It's worse for a span of time. Come back to Toastmasters. And of course, you do create a new bond for Toastmasters by being a speaker. And for the guests, very often it's a good when well, promotion tool to ask guests, and later you see the eyes. <laughs> it's a marketing trip, but I want to invite new members. And how about how to decide which which uh, question you connect with, with with which person? You know new members. You know the shy person. He's a sports guy. He's a professional basketball player, he is a woman about the figures, you know the people and you can tailor the question to the person, has to match with the person. How to find out who is guests? It's easy. In the introduction of the tourist course in the evening, the people say, I am here because you have an idea how they are presenting. And by the way, when it's called English, you find out how good the command in English is. They're not native speakers or avoid the world. What's the most um, serendipitous event in your life? <laughs> I can ask David, it's no problem, he knows it, but other people do the most exciting. Find the right word, <coughs> the command of a foreign language. The native language uh, speakers, it's no problem. So, now we have to repeat. <coughs> We find your Adrian, Kashia, Georgia, Matka. Now, for my five city, I have the agenda in your hand. Who has no job? 
to find the people who are. This will be my four candidates. I <coughs> connected. Arthur with his emotion, the dress, with the clutter, uh, favorite marketer, his member at the club, so the guests see, huh, in this way it's running, it's working. And that's all. But now we do a third act. How do we do like this? We said it's, it's very easy. Um, each of us now is, is preparing a table for this setting. You have two minutes. Find your setting, weather conditions, women, men, black and white, green and yellow, computer games, that doesn't matter like this. You have two minutes to find your setting, your introduction, and you have two minutes at the same time to find an easy question for beginners, a medium, and a challenging. And do this work in two minutes, very good because you will be asked to perform here on stage. Goal is three questions, good introduction, precise learning. And we start. Can you say 
because I speak about friends and later you turn the direction to animals. Maybe one sentence, okay. Today it's about animals and specifically about pets. Uh -huh. Why Chinese people eat ducks? Why they have ducks? Why, uh, what's, 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 what's your real pet? It could be some more precise, and especially you're walking on the lines a little bit, you're looking for words, you're doing like this. Stand here, it's about animals and pets. Why Chinese people eat ducks? <laughs> Much more clean energy, just more laid back. Next volunteer, Wanda for <laughs> Polish people 
people know that the Olympic Stable, and for me it's just, you know, I have the videos of my, on my, my laptop, and this Alan Pass, it was very routine, he managed to get along, he combined Goethe with Monty Python, but it was a difficult question, it was a little advantage for people who know the truth. A long show, it was smart. And even there, at this level, sometimes it's not <coughs> You're volunteering for the questions. I have a question, first of all, you have the question. What is the difference since it only requires one to elaborate on the quotes, not to know any historical info on the character? So, yeah. even an Irish person can answer this question. Just yeah, it's the depends, it, 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 it depends on the...
and to handle his own emotions. And by the way, the thing is this, I'm just telling you another story. Six years ago, my father had his 80th birthday. <coughs> I gave a little bit My father came to the house. If I will be there, you say something. I thought, come, you are in totally good condition. Come on. He passed away in the center, and now I was in duty. I said to myself, how many can handle? And I did. It was in January, just one year ago. And I was able to speak about it. And without two smarts, I would never be able to do it. Because not only did as a priest say that I'm more and more and more and more. But I know he best. It's stupid to say someone else shall speak. I'm just sitting there and looking down. It was really, it was over time because I was crying the whole time. And I couldn't look at my mother. I had to look for the foreigners. But my mother was, it was impossible. And the wonderful thing was, even the professionals, the organ player, was really touched with the process. And it was, from, from, from my point of view, the best performance I gave in those masters. In those masters, just for my family. I started, I couldn't speak really. Because <coughs> now I feel a little bit, I was in, 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 again emotionally touched. After me, my sister speaking. And at last, a good friend of him. And at last, <coughs> my brother was speaking as a last, and he was able to do a show in his speech. Because this, this ceremony was a healing, it was a good body. My father was fed of steam and the train. And my brother had the courage to say the last election <coughs> because the little coffin was put in a, in, a, in a jacket and pushed to the train. He said, Papa, now we do the, my last prayer. I mean, we take the topics, we can get touched. Sometimes by incident, by this one, and this is for me, the well polished speeches. And the wonderful, eloquent, American, hey, superstar, boring, was a touching story, touch each of us, because each of us is a family, they have wounds, they have experienced disasters, cancer of your grandmother accident of your brother, the suicide of your uncle, each of us has it. <coughs> Normally we don't share it. Normally a Toastmaster, we hear we play a role. Well, I'm the business person, I'm very successful and I earn a lot of money, but a lot of us looking for jobs, looking desperately for a partner for life, born a baby, but a part of partner don't want, and this is the real essential things in our life. Lots of money in the bank account is my now I, I lost a little bit my topic. <laughs> Anyhow, back to the because just for the shoe story. <laughs> because um, <laughs> and it does up the session. Your hand will succeed. The audience entertain. The projects, the goals fulfilled, the guests are impressed, and you now we do a last thing, an extreme, extreme table topic session. Table topic, table topic session. It's not a tongue twister. What we did was in two minutes, we did it just standing on your feet. I asked the candidate, I give a topic, and he will perform perfectly. Yashik, you are looking, it's, I love you, you are voluntold, please, Yashik. Your frame topic is men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And table talk master, thank you for this question. It's a very <coughs> question, but from my point of view, very interesting one. Yeah, you can do setting and ask the questions. Ah, but don't yeah. ask the topic, it's so easy. <laughs> you can send your setting uh -huh. and women, find the questions, easy, medium, and come on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, it's a very important topic, men and women. And we are all, we get here a lot of representatives of those two sexes, so let's have a table topic about, session about that. <coughs> My first question is, uh, how do you 
as a man, to the discussion of the man, how do you, do you attract women? Very interesting thing. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> I, I take two people, one girl and now one little right, boy, and then I set up a situation that men should ask the girl out for a date and they have one two minutes two minutes for the same time as a short and brief, not too long. Okay, so please invite uh, this girl for a date. And the third question would be Do you know how your father met your mother? <laughs> It was okay, you have to organize yourself a little bit. And the last question was just perfect. Do you know um, about how your father met your, 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 your mother? Precise, clear, and sharp. Can you ask a question to Yeah, of course. Uh, with this last question, because there is that somebody doesn't know and they will just say, No, I don't know what. Well. <coughs> Are they allowed to imagine? To of course, you can lie to us, but maybe your, your, your mother is not married and you don't know your father. This could happen also. But and sometimes you are trigger things, mm -hmm. it's difficult. But the person who answers might not know they are supposed to lie and imagine they might just stay there and... Yeah, but it, it, it's a question of introduction of take the Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. Uh, I would say that even if you don't know the, the answer to the question that was asked, mm -hmm. that's not a problem. Because the, 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 the challenge is not to answer the question, it's to speak for two minutes. If you don't know why your father met your mother, you certainly have a story about it. Because you didn't meet your parents, or you didn't come from a very strict family, and they didn't talk about it. So you can still talk about for two minutes about that subject. If you yeah, because the answer can be the events around the topic. How people met, some of the train, holidays, the work, some people who exist, I think blah, blah, blah. And surround the topic, you don't have to show my father kissed my mother and at this time she was still married. It was kind of, sometimes that happens, of course, and, and sometimes each family has some secrets and it's hidden and even children don't know it, they could unprobably speak about it. You, you can lie, but it's a question of introduction of table topic rules. You can lie, you can invent something. It must not be true. And that's, uh, that's always an option. Who is May yeah. I put some thought on the table? Because I really enjoy uh, this idea of being short and straightforward during the introduction. But what I really miss, and then I think that especially as far as newcomers are concerned, they, then, they don't know anything about table topics. And maybe being short is not a good idea for them. Like, for example, presenting roles. <coughs> Even the timing, for example, during the our morning session, the Marek Shudim was quite concerned whether I have two minutes or one minute, and steps like that. It's a job of the vice president of education to share something knowing about customers. And if you're a guest, maybe even the moderator of the trade to the host of the evening, have to tell our previous guests green, blue, yellow, or something, it's a job of the, of the, of the club. Considering the table topic, at least I think that it would be quite beneficial to, to, to present the highlights, key roles during the table topic. Right now I will ask a question. You will have a, between one and two minutes to answer it. And uh, put it, of course, into some kind of story about. But it is. Okay, you can do some questions, but for me it's more elegant. It's an extra mile. And the story connects with the motto. Can frame it, it, it's. I can give you a food and a plastic, or I can say, come, I deliver it on a plate and a film. And it. Uh, this is a presentation of something the same. The food is the same, <coughs> but you can present it here. Eat, poof. Oh, I say you can incorporate it. <coughs> you can incorporate it to yeah, yeah, your kind it's of it's story and introduction. So it's, you know. it's just it's your your way to conduct your meeting. Yeah, I just wanted to share a best practice that we do in the table topics because that's really sometimes a challenge and we have also many guests. 
that what we do, that even though we shortly explain the world, we always we can experience speaker first time. That would give, because a role model is always better than just explaining, and that you can still keep short and simple as uh, Klaus explained, but really think an example you have more. Thanks a lot, this is the time of strict looking at me. What's the, what we have reached now? Now we have a lot of people in their pocket, they are taking topics. Now there's no question for the next year, I have no idea what to do with table topics. Keep this paper in your purse, in your pocket, and if someone is small, if you need someone, put it out of the window, he develops a scribe of the Pelopo, the Charles, so everything. It's super easy, it is a wonderful thing become a leader, to see how your team succeeding, the people are under entertained, the people are happy, and you learn how to manipulate, how to guide people to success, and to, 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 to walk a little tiny step beyond limits. You do it properly, and the people will love you, and will say, wow, well done. <laughs>